Hi. How's it going? I have a complaint to compl uh, whatever. Where are y'all at? Uh we're stuck in traffic around this cool beach marina outside. Um Are you guys going to St. Armand's right now? No, we're trying to get out. There's uh, like it's lot of traffic. traffic mostly stop. Okay. Well, where are you guys going right now? Uh we're on our way back to your place. Uh, okay. All right, now I'll just wait here. Okay, cool. All right, we'll see, you in a see ya. Okay. You missed it. You missed it. You missed it. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good. How about yourself? Nice to meet you. Hi. Did you like the beach? Had you been there before? No, I haven't, I haven't been to a beach on the West Coast before. It was really nice. Yeah. It was literally like, I mean, I heard the term like white sandy beaches and stuff like that, but it was literally like white sand. <laughs> the sand is very powdered. Really yeah, nice. it's not like Cocoa Beach at all. Yeah. Good. Well, we're glad you came. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah. It smells really good. It's awesome. Do you like fettuccine Alfredo? Yeah. Awesome. I'll see you, man. Merry Christmas. Don't die. You don't want to be weird around Eric, don't you? <laughs> she is. I saw the vlog. I saw the vlog, right? Dedicated subscriber. You blocked me in. Who, me? Yes. Can you come? Six a.m. So today I didn't film much mainly because I didn't have anything interesting going on and I didn't want to upload non-quality video or uh, content. So I decided I'm going to talk a little bit about um, my experience living in a van. Um, last last year around October twenty third or so, I bought a Ford E150 Econoline van. Me and my brother built it out to have to be livable. Around this time last year, me and my family went up to North Carolina to spend New Year's with my dad's old college roommates, college buddies. And from there, I left and went to Chattanooga, Tennessee on my own with my van and a little bit of money in my pocket. When I got there, about two or three days after I got there, I got a job as a busser at Big River Barn Grill. Other than the job, I didn't really see many people. I ate out alone, and a lot of people don't talk about the isolation. When you see van dwelling on YouTube, it's glorified. And don't get me wrong, it was a great experience, and I would do, I would do it again. But... A lot of people glorify it to make it seem like, oh, it's this carefree kind of living, but it's really not. It's a lot harder than you would think. It was just definitely a lot of isolation. I ate a lot of meals. I, I ate out every night, and every night I ate out alone. I was at a table for one. I was by myself, and that, that's definitely super hard mentally. A year before that, my brother did the same exact thing, and he gave me a lot of tips, and also he uh, gave me a lot of places I could go, so I didn't have to find my own um, bathrooms, just free, free stuff that he marked on his maps, he put into my map, so I knew places I could go for a cheap meal, or um, late night bathrooms, stuff like that. Around a month in, I met an older 
accountant. Uh, I met this guy and I will always remember the night. I was out putting stuff that I just bought for my bike that got stolen. Um, but I was putting stuff on my�����������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������������
I would definitely live in a van again. I definitely left that trip a new man. Um, I began that trip as a little boy straight out of high school. And the way I set up my high school was um, I planned to graduate early. I graduated a semester early. I was planning to graduate the summer before my senior year, but then I broke my leg really, really bad, really nasty, and got six screws and a plate and two pins in it. So I didn't graduate during the summer. I graduated um, the first after the first semester of my senior year. So I didn't really go to high school that much. I never really enjoyed high school. Um, believe it or not, I wasn't really the party type and I didn't really have many friends. All my friends left after my sophomore year because they were all seniors and that's all I hung out with. So I was kind of ready to get out and I did and then I went on that trip and it truly, truly set me up for something else. I was not e expecting that trip to impact me as much as it did. And it's something I wouldn't, wouldn't change for the world.